somebody there who is frustrated, who is disappointed, maybe by a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, a husband, a friend. So be a blessing to somebody by inviting them. If you don't want to share it, just invite them and let them be part of this way. Let them be part of the worship. Let them be part of what God, what God wants to do in their lives. Be a blessing to them just by inviting them to listen to the word of God. And them getting blessed. And from there, God has got his own package for your life. Amen. You are great. Hey, you are great. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This song is, is just disappearing. Imagine. The voice is a liar. Oh, the voice is a liar. No, we are going to worship. Then this is a sign that there's something that goes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is well. Okay. It's here again. I don't know what's happening with this song. Imagine. But in Jesus' name, we are still going to worship God. We are going to worship God. Just open up your heart wherever you are. Open up your spirit. Allow God to take control over your life. Allow God to take control over your soul. Permit God in each and every area of your life. Ask Him. Ask Him that, Father, I'm here because, because He's a God that never fails us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And the only thing that He's looking for from us is worship. And that worship, let's worship Him in truth and in spirit. That's the real worship that God is looking for. In Jesus' name. Hayabashi kabaye debosh. Just go ahead, wherever you are, you can sing this song and meditate upon the love of God. Meditate upon His message. God has been so faithful. He has kept you this week. Other people are gone. Other people are dead. 
other people did not eat, but God has given you the grace to stand, to eat, to, to look nice. He's a good God. So just go ahead and worship him through song. Everything about God is great. Hayaba shikaba. In the name of Jesus. Hey. You are great. You are great. Thank you for joining. May God bless you. You are great. You are great. Hey. You are great. Everything within about you is great. Everything about God is great. Your life, everything, the food you eat, the hair that you breathe. He's a great God. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Everything within about you is great. Yes, Lord. Rabba Shikaba. Everything about you, Lord, is great. Haya Kaba Rede Bosch. Rede bo shika baba yekere bo shika baba yes lord we worship you today the praise kaya bash and yes lord we worship you today we give you the praise with our mouth our hearts our bodies in jesus name yes lord we worship you today thank you father thank you jesus ha. Rebosh, Rabba Baba Shika Barede, Rabba Baba Shika Barabosh. Hey, everything within about you is great. Just go ahead and worship God. Tell Him how much you are grateful over what He has done in your life, over what He has done over your family. There's not, there are some families that are dead, there are some families that are gone right now, there are some families. There are some people who are able to even, they don't know how to, they don't even have a family. But God has kept you, has given those families, those sisters, those brothers, children, your wife, the ministry, everything about God is great over your life. Oh Lord, your presence, hey! What a mighty God we say, He's a mighty God. They trample upon the voice of the Lord. Hey! So what can man do to you? What a mere man do to you? Jesus! Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything within about you is great. You are great. About God is great. Everything about God is great. Kaya bashi kabash, rika bashi keboria dada. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. We, you are great. You are great. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Oh yes, Lord. There is nobody else like you. Everything within about you is great. Kaya bashi kababa. You are great, great. Doing marvelous things. God is great. He's doing marvelous things in your life. He's a good God. He's a beautiful God. You know, sometimes we fail to, we fail to, to, to be. 
we, we fail to tell God that God we are grateful because there is a way that we expect God to work in our lives and if he's not working in the world that we are expecting him we like ah is God does God care yes God cares God loves you and Sorry, you're able to hear me right. The network words, the network problem. So, what what I want to encourage you that sometimes we ask God that God, do you really care about me? Are you interested in my issues? Are you interested in my affairs? What is happening with me? You want to understand God, but the Bible say God's ways are not our ways, and we. If we want to understand God, we end up missing and limiting God. Sometimes when you are expecting God to work in a certain way, he does in another way because that's how he works. He's not God is not man. We are made in the image of God, but we are not God. We are just in the image of God. So meaning that he's a real copy and we are like or we are a photocopy from we are a photocopy. And from there we we just get a certain appearance about god but we are not god so sometimes god's ways are not supposed actually god's ways are not to be they are not supposed to be understood the moment you start you hi cosy how are you my how are you may god bless you thank you for joining and everybody that is watching thank you for joining god bless you uh, sometimes we want to understand how does God work? Why is this thing, this thing? Why is it not working? I was expecting to be like this, but I can't see it manifesting in the way that I wanted it to, to manifest. But God is saying, your ways are not my ways. Neither your thoughts are my thoughts. I know sometimes we may think our ways are okay, but God is like, there's a better way than I. There's a better way than this one. There is a better way than this one. What I'm about to do in your life is great. When I when I leave this to do for you to do it for yourself, you limit yourself, and people will know that this is the work of 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 man. But I want to do what people will be surprised that this is only the work of God, only God Himself. So, children of God, I came to encourage you that never give up in life. God is great. He's great, and there's nothing that can be compared unto you. Let me tell you. One thing that you have to know, the little thing that we, the, li, the little things that we think they are little, that God does for us, always have an attitude of, Lord, coming to God and say thank you, coming to God and say thank you. When you see God has risen somebody in your life to help you, come back to God and say thank you, because even that little thing you failed to do for yourself, but God did it for you. So. I'll give an example of the uh, 10 lepers, right? It is only one that came back to Jesus and said, thank you. And Jesus asked, when he healed the 10 lepers, they went to him and he healed the 10 of them. And only one came back and said, thank you to Jesus. And he asked, where are the other nine? Because he are the 10 of you. And you know, and, and the, she, the, the, the other rapper who came to say thank you to Jesus, he said, I don't know. Then I was like, not only have I healed you, but I'll make you whole. What does it mean when he says, well, I'll make you whole? Meaning that I've healed you in your body, but I'll prosper you, but I'll lift you. Not only have I healed you, but I also, I, I also cause my light to shine upon your life. I will do more. Every time you, every time you come to God and say thank you, he'll be like, okay, this is, I'll bless you because I know even when I bless you, you still come back and say thank you. I'll, uh, let me tell you one thing that happened this week. I was, there's a testimony that I posted, that was last week. I think three weeks ago, there's a testimony that I posted on Facebook. There's this lady, she's, she was in the hospital. There's this lady, she was in the hospital. So I saw her on, uh, on, on Facebook, then I checked, then I asked, what's wrong? Then she was like, I've been, I was admitted in the hospital, but I'm out now. I'm still not feeling well and everything. Those of you who read that, who, who saw that testimony, okay, I think some, most of you saw that testimony. So I was like, uh, okay, I want to pray with you. I want to, I want to pray with you. Hi, Sister Nina. How are you? You're welcome. Sister Ada, how are you? May God bless you for watching. Uh, so I, 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 I called her, I was like, uh, okay, let me pray for with you and everything. Then the lady was ready, like, okay, Vet, you can pray for me, we can pray for me. I was like, I want to pray with you, I don't want to pray for you, but I want to pray with you. 
uh, because if I come to you and say that I'll pray for you, you, you depend on me, but I want you to pray with you so that our dependence should be on God. Then she was like, okay, okay. I prayed for that lady. She was unfair. She, she was unable to walk. She was, I mean, she was, she was unable to eat. Even she had this, I don't know what was holding her throat. Even from praying, she, she told me a lot of things. So what I did, I prayed with her. Hi, Gilland, how are you? May God bless you. Thank you for watching. Hi, Brother Will. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. And please remember to share the video. Be a blessing to somebody on your page. Amen. Or invite somebody if you don't want to share it. So, when I was praying for that lady, I, you know, most of the times I've taught my God that most of the times when I'm praying for people, those especially like where there are no networks and everything, messengers is most of them, most, I, our messenger is free. So I, I, I always tell God that God, because they don't have network, they won't miss their blessing. Use my hands. Even when I'm typing a prayer, use my hands. They will no longer be my hands, but they will be your hands. Even when I'll be typing, deliverance will be taking place. When I'll be typing words and they're reading, they're reading what I'm typing. When I'm doing counseling on them, let it touch their hearts. And most of the times, the, most of the times, this has been working. God has, God has just... Uh, most of the time when I give them, I just tell that God, these hands are not mine, but they are yours. And most of the times, some of the testimony that people post and deliver, send what I, uh, w w when I prayed for, for them, it's most of the times I do it by typing, especially back in Africa where there are no networks, they have to buy, they have to buy MBs, there's what we call MBs back home. And I, 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 I type and they get delivered, they get saved out of typing, meaning that God is not limited by what means you do for somebody to be, to be set free from those bondages. So, but this one, the good part, I was able to call her and talk to her. Then, uh, she, then I, I started praying with her. I prayed, I prayed for healing, deliverance and everything. And she, then uh, as I was praying, I was asking her, what are you, how are you? Then she was like, I feel like dizzy. I feel, you know, those when somebody is going through deliverance. So when, when I finished praying, she said, I, I now, my, my throat, I can't, I, I don't, I'm failing to swallow. I've not been able to eat for quite some times and everything. Then I was like, in the name of Jesus, I command that throat to be open. Everything that is preventing you from eating, that is causing you to, is causing you not to move forward. It's causing you to be weak, not to walk. I command, I command it to come out in Jesus' name. I prayed with her. She get then I you know what because me most of the times I'm not in a hurry of praying for people. Hi Josephine, may God bless you, my sister. I'm not in a hurry of praying for people because some people just want to receive the healing but they don't want God Himself. So others I first start by teaching them, and after teaching them, I tell them, after teaching them, I tell them that you have to come with a testimony. And not that I want you to, maybe you, maybe they should say that I can pray for the sick and everything. But I just want the, the, the glory to be taken back to God. So when God does for you something, uh, you need to testify. And our, uh, she was like, okay, she, after she got healed, I posted the testimony about the Suso throat that it was instant. She walked, she even had, the, she had to take a walk. And I was, then she, I forwarded, I, te, I, I posted it on my home. So from that testimony, there's a girl, I want to show, I want to show you how people felt to be ungrateful to God. From that testimony, there's another one who saw that testimony on my home. And he'll be like, I, she was like, hi. She was like, hi, woman of God. Then I was like, I'm fine. How are you, my dear? Then she was like, I'm fine. Then she was like, I want you to pray for my, I want also, she was like, I want I want you to pray for me also. Then I was like, uh, also, but I knew that it was out of the testimony that she saw. Then I was like, what is it? Then I was like, my mother is in the hospital. I was like, okay. Oh, uh, then I, I, I was like, in the name of Jesus, your mother will be discharged by the blood. I typed, it was a typed prayer. Your mother will be discharged in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing. I prayed for healing. And she was like, amen. And I told her that make sure when God does that, come and testify this is how, what happens when you fail to testify or you are being ungrateful to god guess what happened she didn't testify and she just told me my mother is out and i we thank god from there she called me she texted me about maybe the following day she texted me she was like um 
I want you to pray. That's why she came. I want you to pray for me. My mother is not. Uh, my mother is not talking. I didn't argue. I was like, okay. I command that you. I, I command your mother's uh, mouth to be open. And before the end of this day, she will talk. And that's a lady from Africa. She will talk in Jesus' name. I, I, remember to come back with a testimony that's what i was telling her then she was like i'll come i cannot hide nothing will stop me from hiding i want her i mean nothing will stop me from testifying i won't hide then I, okay we thank god the mother she kept quiet she didn't say anything i'm not bothered actually i'm not doing it for myself i'm doing it for god she didn't come back with a testimony Paris, how are you, my sister? May God bless you. Thank you for joining. Invite somebody. And you know what? She did come back and testify. Yes, that two, two days ago. Do you know what she said? Hi, dear. Then I was like, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Continue. You know, like, continue praying for, for my mother. She's not working. Uh, she's not working. Do you know what I said? This, I, I felt bad because this is how we want to use God. The first time the mother was discharged, she didn't they write a testimony and say that God has done, my mother is out. The next time the mother was not talking, I prayed for the mother, she started talking, and she did not even come. She asked to come and say that God has healed my mother, may God, may, may God be given the glory and everything for the glory to go back to God. She didn't say anything. Because again, the mother was sick, she wasn't walking, she was like, continue, like... She's just banking me, I should be praying, praying. Sometimes, you know, one thing that we have to know, we all have prayer requests, we all have prayer points. Sometimes when you say, my sister, pray for me, they'll be like, we'll pray for you. They'll just pray for you there and then, and sometimes they'll pray for you in chapters, but you have to do the many work for yourself. Because each and every person on this earth, they've got their own cries, they've got their own requests, they've got their own prayers that they're supposed to pray. So you find that some people, for them to come and pray, or to come and remember you, it means they have already prayed for, sometimes not even you, there's a lot of people who bring their prayer requests. So sometimes for them to come back and pray for you, it is another thing. So if you, you be lazy, be like, okay, that one is praying for me. Yes, they'll pray for you, but the many thing has to be done with you. Your relationship with God is very important. Your relationship with God is very important. God is not interested in, yes, other people can pray with you, can pray for you, but what are you doing to maintain your prayer life? Are you going to continue coming to people that, I want you to pray for me, I want to, to pray for you. When are you going to open your mouth and speak to your father? So let me go back to my to my to my to to, to the same testimony that I was saying uh, the the same story about the lady that was called me. Then she was like, "Ah uh, hi, continue praying for me. Hi Mwanga, how are you? May God bless you. Thank you for watching." Then then the, instead of her coming coming to say that a woman of God or oh, Yvette, thank you so much because me I'm not even interested in the woman of God part but it is well Yvette, God has healed me may God may the glory of God be given to God and everything I told her to testify at first but she wants to make use of God to make to use God and she was like okay continue praying for me do you know what I answered her I was like ah. Uh, from the previous, the time I prayed for your mother to start talking, did she start talking? Then she was like, uh, um, she said, uh, no. Then I was like, ever since I prayed for her, because it was like after two weeks, three weeks, then when she came back and said that no, thing, no, a uh, woman of God continued praying for me. So I was like, so after, ever since I prayed for her, she has never talked. She was like, no, she, she started talking. But her talk, she wasn't talking for us to hear clearly. Then I was like, this is a person who was able even to talk, was unable to talk. But now we can talk, even if you are not able to get maybe clearly as she's talking. But she's talking, you're able to communicate. You're able to communicate. You didn't come back and say thank you to Jesus over what he did to your life. All what you came back with is to tell me that continue praying for me. And you know what? I, I didn't know what to do. And you know what? From that, I got a word, a message from there. I was like, people felt, if people, they really don't appreciate what God does for them. Oh, what they want is that if God does a little thing for you, go ahead and say thank you. When you are able to say thank you in the little thing, God will also entrust you in bigger things. 
Then I was like, so this lady, she just want to be saying, pray for me, continue praying for me. Yes, but she cannot testify about the goodness of the Lord. The mother was discharged from the hospital. The mother talked. Because, uh, because the mother is not walking now after some time because she did not testify. She was like, woman of God, continue praying for me. Continue praying for me. Like, I'm the, I'm the bank, like the bank of praying for somebody. God is interested in a new also relationship. So sometimes we fail to acquire what God has put in our lives because we are, we, we, sometimes we try to act so selfish. We, when we benefit our healing, what is God getting again? God has to be, God has to get the, the praise. God has to, uh, to get the glory. God has to be, uh, to get, to, to get what belongs to him. If God blesses us with our, uh, I mean, he heals us. We have to testify. Even as we testify, people be like, praise God. We thank God. As we are saying that, we are testifying to the glory of God and to the shame of Satan. Amen. So I just came to encourage you that most of the time, let us remember that every time, let's go back to God and be grateful. I think me on the path of grateful, I've learned so much. Even people have done good in our lives. Powerful, you cannot give something that you do not have. Amen. Even people like me, one thing, you know, even people that have benefited. Hi, Carol. Thank you for joining my sister. May God bless you. I, you know, there are times, there are some things. I mean, there are some people who have helped us in each and every stage of our lives, like others spiritually, others financially, others. At least, le let's learn to say thank you. Honest, me, I'll, 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 sometimes people say, hey, thank you. Thank you, Yvette, you gave me this. Thank you, Yvette, for helping me that, that time. And I'll be like, oh, thank you so much. You know, sometimes you can say, okay, don't mention it. It is well. But because they said thank you, you'll be able to remember that this person said thank you. This is what happens to God. We can say don't mention it, but in fact, but them by saying thank you, they are okay. Even if they don't mention it, but they are, they'll be satisfied that okay, somebody came to say thank you. This is also what happens to God. When we go to God, He does something to uh, for us. We're like God, thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I, I may not have nice shoes, but I have what we call tropicals. I don't know how you call it here. Tropicals. Thank you, Lord. I have legs, but there's somebody who doesn't have these legs. They can't walk. Thank you, God. I have this shelter. There's somebody outside there who doesn't have this shelter. Thank you, God. Let us learn to have an attitude of an attitude of gratitude. An attitude, but a testimony is needed. Amen, Sister Josephine. God bless you. Yes, a testimony is needed in Jesus' name. Let us learn to come back to God and say thank you. We are, Lord, we are so grateful. Even the life that we have right now. Some people are gone. Just right now as I'm talking, some people are just ending their lives. But today God has given us this life to come on living, I'll come on live video, talk about his love, talk about being great, grateful. And there's nothing that... And even as we do that, God is so grateful. Well, like when we come back to God and say, thank you, Father, even what we have right now, it's not because we want it. It's not that because we deserve it or we are better than those people who do not have it. But because of your mercies. You know, yesterday there was a group that we were praying last night. And I was like, Guy, guys, let's just go ahead and listen to this song that I didn't know you wanna me this way. I didn't know. You wanna me this way. I didn't know. You wanna me this way. You wanna me this way. Thank you, my God. And I was telling them that you know what? Only they, because most of us people we like we like saying no. I didn't know that you honor me this way. We are just expecting to be honored when we like when God leaves us and takes us from one level to the other. But even the life itself. We didn't know because other people are gone. Other people are gone. So the same life that we have, let us learn to say that, Father, we don't deserve it, but all because of you. I think let me play this song so that everybody, we should go ahead and say, Lord, thank you. Because sometimes we, we just feel like when I, God, God, we just have to come to you when we... When God leads us, take us from one country to the other, one nation. But the same life that we have, we have to come back and say that, Father, we didn't know that you give us this life. 
We didn't know that you give us this promotion. We didn't know that we'll be here. We didn't know that you own us this way because other people are gone. Thank you, Lord. So at this particular time, I want us to worship together this song. We didn't know. Just say that, God, I didn't know that I still have Rabba Shikaba. We didn't know that God will favor us this way. Just go ahead and worship God. Yakaba Shikaba. We didn't know that you favor us this way, Lord. By giving us life. By giving us this job. Rabba, our families, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba Shikaba Yadada. In Jesus' name. I didn't know you wanna me this way. Kaya Bashika, you didn't know that you wake up alive today. But God has given you that breath, brother. God has given you that breath, sister. You didn't know, and you didn't even deserve it. Kaya Bashika Ba. Yeke de Bo Shika Baba. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We didn't know that Lord will, re will reach this year. We didn't know, my Father. Lord, other people are gone at our age. Other people are dead and forgotten. But Father, you have honored us with life, Lord. You have honored us with life, Father. Oh, what we can say, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, while we are so ungrateful, Lord, we are here to say thank you, Lord. Ha. We did know, Father, and we did not deserve it. If we don't deserve it, the great are gone. My Father, the rest are gone. Christians are gone. Non-believers are gone. But we have this life. We have this life. Father, we may not have it all, but with what we have, we thank you. We do know that you favor us this way, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are faithful. Even the time we were unfaithful, Lord, you kept, you kept your promise for us, oh God. Because the Bible says you never leave us nor forsake us, and you have never, never left us, oh Lord. You have never left us, oh God. Even times when we go astray, you keep on stand and wait for us to come back. You don't reject us, oh God. You always look forward, oh God, to see us going higher and higher and higher. Lord, it is us that limits you, my Father. You are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. My Father, if only we can come back and say that, Lord, you are great. That you are great. That you are great, Lord. You are great, Lord. You deserve all the praise. And this is the reason that we are not ashamed of you. Never, Lord. We did not, Father. I didn't know that you favored me this way, Lord. I didn't know you favor me this way. How? You favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We did not, Father. We did not know. We did not, Father, you give us this life. We didn't know that, Lord, you bless us, oh God. We didn't know, Father. Sweet Jesus. Kaya Kabosh. Rakabosh. Reke Deboshikata. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Father. Rabashikaba. Hey, Jesus. I didn't know you favor me this way. I didn't know you give me this life. You give me this life. Thank you, my Lord. What a privilege to serve God. What a privilege to know God. 
Many people today are going to hell. They are dying. They don't know Jesus. They have not received Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior. They have denied Jesus. Other people don't even have this privilege to worship Him. What a privilege to worship God. What a privilege to worship God, brother. What a privilege to worship God, sister. Haya Bosch. Yaka Barre de Bosch. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We never knew. You favor us this way, Lord. You bless us this way, Father. You give us good health this way, Father. In Jesus' name. Haya Boshikaba. Rabo Shikababa. Yeke de Boshikata. In the name of Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Sweet Lord, you are too wonderful. You are too good to ask our, our sweet Father. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord of thanks in our hearts. Amen. May God bless you, everybody, for watching. And thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it's good, as I said, it's very important to come back to God and say that, Father, we thank you. Even this life that we have, we don't deserve it. So there are some things, yes, that have not wakened. We, uh, there, there are some things that have been hindering us from going, from achieving most of the things that we want. But we are not where we were. We are not where we were. God is faithful, brother. God is faithful, sister. And thank you so much for watching. Share the video. Be a blessing to somebody. Child of God. So, so today... Uh, you know, today I've got this. I've got. I, I, I'm going to share with you in the book of Matthew 7 1 to 14. Before I open that scripture, there's something that came into my mind. Like, there's something that I was reading. In life, the way we look at people, there's a, the way we look at people matters. The way we judge people, the way we try to. The way we try to we treat people matters. Because, hi, evangelist Diana, how are you? May God bless you. Thank you for watching. May God bless you. May God protect you. Thank you so much, everybody. For Sorry. Remember to invite somebody from your, page, from your page. Be a blessing to someone. So I was looking, you know, when Jesus came on earth, right? He did not come here to condemn anybody. But he came here to bring salvation. And it is because of his salvation that we are here and speak about the love of God. It is because of, it's because of him, of God, Jesus coming on the cross and dying for us on the, for us. This is, a, he came for humankind on this earth. He came for us. He came, he did not come for dogs. He did not come on earth to come and die for trees. He did not come here to come and die for cats. He did not come, but he came to die for man. Man, meaning that man is very important in the sight of God. And look at, because of the love of God, his mercies, he did not create a cat in his, in his image. He did not create a lion, elephant, elephant an, an, an elephant in his image, but he created mankind in his image. And how you look at, thank you so much for posting the scripture, even uh, yeah, my God. I wanted to say Evangelist Belema, sorry. Evangelist Diana, may God bless you. Thank you for posting that scripture. Most of the times, we want, most of the times, how we look at people matters. The way God looks at us and the way people look at us, it's different. Because man will always look at us with a certain eye. eye. A man who always look at us with a certain attitude, with a certain character. They will look at us at once and judge us. They will look at us maybe because they they don't the way we are we are. That's not that they expect us to be. And they will give us this kind, this name. They will give us this image that we are not. We are not. But when God looks at us, He looks at us with love. He looks at us with uh, with we. He looks at us with so much with so much love. Because why? If God forsakes us, if God forgets about us, then where can we go? And we carry the image of God and how we look at, and especially when you're a believer, you're a child of God, how you look at others, how you treat others matters. Because every, every time when you look at a person and you don't like the way they look, that's your own baby to nest, 
Let them look the way they want to eat. But look, when you're a believer, you're a child of God, look at them the way God looks, look, looks at them. Have a mind of Jesus in us. Let us learn to have a mind of Jesus. Not looking at people in a certain way. You know, I get surprised... Uh, some people they even treat dogs better than a human, a, a human, a better compared to a human being. It is better they help a dog than helping a human being. What? How did God die for a dog? Did God die because God, uh, did Jesus die for a dog? Jesus died for human, uh, uh, for human. He died for that person. He died for you. He died for me. How we look at people has to matter. How we. Look people is very don't look at them for me i've told god that every time I, I see somebody i don't want to look at them because of what they are portraying but i want to look so i want to look beyond them beyond what i see beyond what my naked eyes can see look at that person i'll give an example of, of that woman the time jesus was at the well the time was at the well and this samaritan came to who came to fetch water and Jesus was there and he asked that woman to, in the book of Romans, uh, in the book of John. Then Jesus was like, I'm asking, when Jesus asked water to that woman, then she was like, what? there's nothing in common between you, the Jews, and us, the Samaritan. And, 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 and as they were having conversation, and Jesus ended up prophesying that you, you, you have been married to seven, to five, five, husband and the one that you're living with right now he's not your man he's not your man you're not married to him then the woman the samaritan was like how do you know this are you a prophet and then you know then god say then then god, jesus kept on talking to her and because of what jesus told her she did what she, meaning when you look at this woman she had five husbands and the one that was living right now was not the husband so when you look at that woman you look at she's a prostitute she doesn't listen but uh, but jesus did not look at that person with a, a character of of an attitude that he had that, that right then but he looked at her as an evangelist do you know what happened that woman left the world and went to call people that come and see the, the man the man that you have been waiting for come and see the prophet that has prophesied said everything about me which is true so that woman maybe the world looked at her as a prostitute because she was had five husbands and the one that was living with right but that time he was not a husband but jesus saw an evangelist out of her and it was her who went to tell people in the village and they came and listened to jesus teaching so jesus looks at us in a different way there's a certain attitude that people look at us but god but jesus looks at beyond that imagine if he did not talk to that lady if he condemned and said you're a prostitute you have uh, 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 many husbands right now what what that woman could not have been gone and left the presence of god and gone to call people for them to come and listen to jesus so she was an evangelist instantly she went she became an evangelist so god knew jesus knew that she's an evangelist and i just have to speak to her and she'll bring people to me so even as when god sends us outside there are we a people that are able are going outside there to condemn and look down on people uh, because of their, their 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 fault because of the things that they are going to you know there are some people is my music too loud you know, there are some people who, are, who have indulged themselves into prostitution because the life that they have right now, but because, remember others, they were abused. Others, they don't have what, they don't have shelter. They don't, some people, are, they'll give uh, reasons and you'll be, you, you, you'll be like, so this person never wanted to, to be this, but because of this circumstance, this, uh, this, this issue, this, this issue, that's the reason that they became prostitutes. God bless us through God bless us through eyes of righteousness, but man looks at um, looks at us with condemnation. It's true, man will always look at us with condemnation. Wow, and God looks at us with the uh, with the eyes of righteousness. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, I've reduced the volume. Okay, thank you, Josephine. So when we look at if we look at that, then you start like God help me. Help me. You know, there are times you can tell God that God help me to do things like you do. Because if the Bible says greater is he that is in us than the one of this world, meaning that Jesus is in us. 
and what he does let us be able to do it if if jesus if god doesn't want to see it doesn't has to doesn't doesn't like gossiping don't gossip let us not behave like people of this world yes we are of this world the bible says we are of this world but we are not of this world meaning we are ambassadors we are ambassadors of christ we present the heavens we are the presentative of the kingdom of heaven you know there's something that i was talking to one of my sisters the, the, the other week i was saying do you know what uh, what being a presentative of heaven is when you're a representative of, 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 of heaven, it means you're on this earth, but you're not operating under the, the earth rules. You're operating under the kingdom that you're submitting to. What am I saying? I'll give, this is a, I'll give an example. In America, right? This is America. The, we, uh, each and every country has got uh, embassies, like uh, ambassadors that go to present America. Like they go to present... Somebody can be in Kenya... Somebody can be in Africa, but even in Africa, different part of Africa. The other one is in Zambia, Nigeria, Nigeria. But they are all coming from one one place. Their origin is America. Even other countries, they do the same thing. The origin is Zambia, and they send ambassadors in in Kenya, in what, in what. But the, we are coming from the same origin. This is what also is in the kingdom of God. We are coming from the same origin, the origin of kingdom of God, the origin of kingdom of God. And we are here to present, to present the kingdom of God in different departments. That's why others are called to be evangelists. Others are called to be pastors. Others are called preachers. Others are called apostles, uh, prophets, meaning that we are coming from the same kingdom. But we have been sent in different departments. Wow. I know you love Nigeria. That's why you mentioned. Yeah, that's why I mentioned it too. <laughs> Nina, leave me alone. <laughs> so, at, so at the end of the day, what happens? What happens? We are coming from one kingdom. But presenting in different. We are being spritted in different areas. I'm graced in this. Somebody's graced in healing. Somebody's graced in what? Why? Because that's how God has assigned us to do. So when you go, we go, ambassadors, they go outside there. They are going to talk about, they are going to talk about America. They are going to talk about this. They're doing, but they're in Africa. But somebody's in Asia. Somebody's, they're going to present what, what is it here. So that when people look at America, they go, they go to, this, uh, 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 to, to the embassy and everything. You find that they are, they are giving you the real deal. They are giving you the real deal of what America is. Amen. What America is. So what am I saying? We can be called ambassadors. We, whatever gift that you're operating in, you're an ambassador in that gift. And you present heaven. If God has called you to help the needy, if God has helped you the, to has called you to, 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 to pray for the sick, which we, if God has, has called you to pray for the sick, go ahead and do it. You are an ambassador in that office. And if anyone enters your territory, it means they are illegal. They are operating. They are not operating. They have trespassed. They have trespassed. So as a child of God, you are an ambassador of the kingdom of God. What you speak, how you do. When people look at you, they, this is a Christian. Ah, believers are behaving like this. Then what do you expect us to they will be referring back to the, these Christians. And Christian means Christ-like. So whatever we do right now, it also affects the kingdom of... Uh, it also matters. When they look at you right now, you're a Christian. You say you're a Christian. But are your deeds, your, what you're doing and what you're doing, what you're doing and what you're saying, are they together? If you say that, I love you, Lord. This is what I was saying yesterday in one of the groups, the prayer groups that were yesterday. That we can say that we love God, but if our actions are different from loving God, then we are lying to ourselves. If we can say that, okay, God, I love you. You love God. This is just the same. This is the same. This is the same. Yes, ambassador of, of Jesus. We are ambassadors of Jesus. Amen. So if we say that we love Jesus and our lives are very different from loving Jesus, are you telling me that you're going to attract people? Some people we are good in saying, but acting is very different from us. And and the Bible says that you know them by the fruit that they produce. Sometimes we get moved that no, this one is a Christian. What fruits are they producing? What fruits are they producing? The fruits what they are, the fruits that they are producing are they are they in line with God? What are the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, kindness, gentleness. Uh, what else? 
gentleness, kindness, peace. What else? You can mention some. Those are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And what only differentiates the fruit of the Holy Spirit and our fruit and the fruit of the devil is the outcome. Because devil naturally, devil doesn't love. The nature of the devil doesn't, have, doesn't love. The nature of the devil is not patient. The nature of the devil is not kind. So no matter how much you may try everything possible, do you know that the devil can, yes, joy, all those are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And the nature of the devil, the, na the nature of the devil, he's naturally evil. He's wicked. That's why he, he is wicked. That's why he's a wicked devil. He's wicked. He has no loyalty. Amen. So what, what fruits are you produced? What fr uh, fruit are you producing? It's either evil or good. So it matters what fruit you are producing. And you know what? I came to learn one thing. People are moved by miracles. I'm, thank God is using me in miracles. Small, small. Small, small. God is using me in miracles and everything. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not moved by... When I pray for the people that get sick, that is not what I'm moving. I, I'm getting moved. Uh, uh, like I get moved and say, okay, okay, okay. No. But my relationship with God is what is important. Love. Thank you so much. I'm not interested with the miracles that God is using me to pray for the people. I'm, I'm grateful that he has chosen me to pray for the sick. Uh, you, you declare things and they're happening in people's lives. But I'm not moved by that. Do you know why? Because that, that, that won't take me to heaven. But what will take me to heaven is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. That's what will take me to heaven. Even, imagine, not small, small, please. Okay, okay, big, big. God is using me, big, big. We thank God. <laughs> thank you for the correction. Uh, so, you find, at the end of the day, ha, huh, how is your life relationship between you and God? Do you know that you can have the grace to perform miracles, but if you do not have the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you end up missing heaven? Yes. Because people are so desperate with miracles. People are so desperate. No, I want to do this. I want to perform miracles. Even the devil, one thing that you have to know, that you know that even the devil can perform miracles. But the only thing with the devil is that his miracles are, the, 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 there's an exchange. Like there's an exchange. You have to put a demand. You have to sow your life. For example, he says that I'll bless you. And I'll, I'll give you money. And when he gives you money, you have to sow your life to him. You have to sacrifice. You have to kill. You have to do what? But God, do you know God, how God does? He gives it to you. And when he gives it to you, he expects you, what are you going to do out of this? Are you going to come back and say thank you? Are you going to come back and remove tithes from the thing that I've given you? He blesses us with money. And he is asking, I'm giving you. And he wants to see if you love him, if you are going to remove tithe, if you are going to, 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 with the money that he has blessed you, are you going to help others that I need? Are you going to help them? How are you living? How are you doing with the, give, the things that God has given you? And if he sees that you are not faithful, be like, okay, it's like you are, you are being ungrateful over what I've given you. Okay, it is well. But the devil first wants you to sacrifice. First, you have to pay him before he blesses you. You have to kill before he gives you money. So the, the devil also performs miracles. But the miracles of God are permanent. And they, and they come with no condition. It is you that has to apply and say, the Lord, thank you. And I was also learning something about tithe. You know, this money that we have, these monies that we have, for example, you have a $1. Do you know that? $10. Wow, thank you so much, Diana. May God bless you. But do not rejoice because of uh, because evil spirit obey you. Rejoice because your name is registered in heaven. Wow, it's true. And that's what always put me down. It, uh, I don't want to rejoice in as much demons. They say we know you, Yvette. I don't care. I do what I have to do. But at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not moved by that. I, it is my relationship with God that I have to work. You know, there is one thing that I was thinking about tithe because most people of us, we are totally reluctant on the part of tithe. You know that, I'll give an example of a $10. Money is called currency, right? Meaning that it goes round, round. The same money was handled by some, was given when somebody killed someone. The same money was, 
was a man and somebody touched it who went to fornicate and they had they fornicate and they were given that man after fornicating the same man that was was handled it because it goes round you don't know even the money that you're having right now you didn't know who was the next person who handled it the same man that was used to was given to somebody who lied who did something and you know the same man is carrying what it's carrying a certain spirit a certain spirit maybe it's a spirit of fornication spirit of what but you know how to prevent you from acquiring those spirits maybe the one who hung who under that money was had hunger maybe they did bribe for that person to have money the same ten dollar that you are having right now you don't know which hand came, who, who was the last person that handled that money but you know that will that will prevent you from acquiring those spirit of lies hunger whatever tithe that's why the bible says bring the tent in the house of god so that they should be enough and i'll devour the why does the scripture i must and i'll devour the i have to look for the scripture malachi malachi haya bashi kata yakaba shekete malachi 3 this malachi 3 this 9 to 10 11 somewhere there I want you I want to help you because sometimes we try to be selfish with God and hold what God has given us but not knowing that you know when you pay tithe not only does it it destroys all those evil spirits maybe that spirit wanted to come to you because this spirit they would always want to find an entrance to enter somebody to rule somebody's life but you find maybe that person who got the last person that you that where you got that money the last person who handled it maybe it was he, he got that out of kidding somebody so you find that this spirit if we don't move tight from there we get a certain percentage because when you get that percentage that 10 percent from the money that you have it covers the other amount and the your money become blessed your money become protected because you are able to remove a tithe a tithe from God. That's why the Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Meaning that when you are blessed with tithe, you remove a part of God. The less that is meaning is blessed. And nothing, the devil cannot even take an advantage because you have remembered God on that particular, on that, that amount that you have. Meaning that it is now covered by the blood of Jesus. Your money is protected. Your money is covered by the blood of Jesus. Why? Because you are able to remember I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Amen. So meaning that when you remove that ten, the 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 tenth, the tenth, the ten the he covers the rest. He covers the ninety that is many. He covers the ninety, and he 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 rebuke the devourers for our sake. Meaning that the devourer that came through that currency to come and destroy us. There are some people. There are some people who have given us money, right? Uh, some people they have been given money, and the man, the moment they handled that money, they were sacrificed. They were put into satanism. They were put into witchcraft. They are what? But if that person is wise enough, when they get that money and they remove the tenth and give it to God, so meaning because they cannot sacrifice God and involve God into satanism, because why? You have removed the part. You are, God is involved in that money. But if you keep it and say, okay, I'll keep it, I'll eat it, I'll have it, it means it to work on you. So if you share that money with God, ha! Huh? I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying. When you share that money with God, God will be like, ah, oh, we shared it. So if whoever wants to sacrifice you, if this money was used to sacrifice you, they have to sacrifice me first because we have shared the money. That's why it is very important to tithe. It is very, very important to tithe. Even if somebody wants to kill you through that money, you tithe. They have to kill God first because you have shared the money. You have shared, you have given a tithe. So there's no one God will be like, ah, if for you to kill this person, she has already given a 10%. So she has given me you way. You what you meant for evil, I've turned it for good. That money that you meant to, to make her join Satanism, that money that you gave her so that she should has her financial life should go down. I'll use uh, it, it has turned into a blessing because she has been able to remove tithes and given to me. And we have shared the money. So if you want to touch her, touch me first. Oh, Jesus. So, a child of God, it's very important to pay tithe because God becomes involved in everything that you do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I don't know if you understand, you have understood what I've said. Amen. So today, I'm going to the main book of today, which is, um, which is, which is Matthew 7. Matthew 7. I'll start from 1 to 14. And earlier, the, earlier, the woman of God, um, Diana had posted it. If you can go and if you can, you can read it, we'll read it together. Let me read you. Let me go ahead with you because there are some things that you have to learn. You know, I was saying, I, there are some people that I was telling that, you know, this Christianity life is a matter of learning. Every day we have to learn. Every day. The moment you have, you say that, God, I have enough of you, that's the beginning of your downfall. You never have enough of the Holy Spirit. You never have enough of God. Every time God has to be new in your life. Hey! The more you want him, the more he appears, the more he becomes more, the more he can. That's how God works. Amen. So at this particular time, I want us to open in the book of Matthew. I'll start from I'll start from seven. Matthew seven, I'll start from one. The Bible reads, Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. For you will be for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is this is the standard. By which you will be judged. And why worry about the spark in your friend's eyes. Which you have, which you have a log in your own. How can you think, how can you think of saying to your friend. Let me help you. Let me help you get rid of this spark in your eye. Which you cannot, which you cannot see past the log in your own eye. Hey, the Bible says. The Bible continues, hypocrites, first get rid of your log in your own eye. Then you will see well enough to deal with your spark in your friend's eyes. My God. So what is, every day is a new chapter. Amen. So the Bible, the Bible here is telling, the Bible here is telling us, why judge about others? Don't judge others because when you judge others, that's the same, that's the same, you, you, when you don't judge others, you will not be judged. And the Bible continues that the same standard that you use to judge others, that's, as, that's the same standard go, you, that will be used to judge you. So many of the times we ask, uh, many of the times when we look at people that this one is a prostitute, this one is a what, are we the judge? We don't, we don't, we don't, there's no, let me tell you, the Bible says we, we don't have to judge anyone. We cannot have to condemn anybody. We are not, we, we are not, we are not judges. We have not been judged. Do you know? You know, there's something that came into my heart. Do you know why at the end of the day when judgment comes, people make it, other people make it to heaven, other people that we didn't expect to make it to heaven, and other people that we expected to make it to, make it to heaven, they won't make it. It's because of what? Maybe that time they were about to die, they gave their lives to Jesus. The moment they were just about to end their lives, they were like, Father, thank, come into my heart, be my Lord and personal. Say, All this world they have been sinning. That's why you find that you don't have to follow what other people are doing because you don't know them. It will be an opportunity for them to ask for forgiveness the moment they're about to die. Maybe you, because you follow blindly, it will just be something, boom, you die. And you have no time to say, Father, thank you. But you, you spend all the days of your life praying to God. And when, you, when people see that no, she is going to heaven, not knowing that you, you missed it out at the end, Not knowing that you, we missed it at the end. So now imagine the Bible says, why worry about the spark in your friend's eye? When you have a log in your own eye, we are worried that, you know, this one thing I also come to understand. We are worried about, we are worried, we are worried about people. We are worried about, no, this person lies, this person gossip, this person, them, they are working on one. Maybe them, all these things, they have worked on it, but gossip is what they are remaining with. Meaning, meanwhile, you as an individual, you know, for you, you lie, you gossip. This means you are just worried of one person's, one mistake. But inside our hearts, we know maybe me, I lie. I, I, I Maybe you, you, me, I fornicate. Me, I do what? I have a lot of it. But I just want to, to concentrate on somebody's one mistake. I'm just, I just want to concentrate on somebody's one mistake. Meaning that, that's why the Bible says, what is you, you have your, your, a log, a log of it. It's more like you have a lot. 
and you are worried over one person, just one spark from one person. You are worried of that lies. You are talking about somebody because he lies too much. Meanwhile, and sometimes we judge people according to what we see there and then. Maybe these people are there, they have made their mistake and they have made things right with God. We still condemn them over their past mistakes, over what they did. Work out. That's why this, uh, the, the, this message is entitled, work out, work out, work out, work out. And do work out on yourself before you work out on others. Get rid of those negative thoughts. Because just thinking negative, you look at the woman last if you have already committed it. So don't don't say that no, because this one did it physically and we are just the same. We, we, we did it physically and me we did not do it physically. No, me I'll go to heaven. No, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Say that, Father, work in me. What is it that I have that is in me that does not bring glory to God? Father, what is it that is in me that does not bring, that does not bring glory to God? Is it lies? Is it gossip? Is it slander? Is it breaking other people's promises? Is it fornication? Father, search me. I don't want to concentrate on people. Maybe this person is just working on lies. But me, I'm having a lot. I have to work on myself. Father, help me to work on myself. I don't have to start. By, yes, you can correct your friend when they are, you see they are going wrong. You rebuke them, you correct them. But not where you stand. You go to hell. In fact, you don't even deserve to live. How can you lie like that? No. We are not in the right position. Work on your own. We know ourselves. We can be here, hallelujah, amen. But we know ourselves behind when people are not seeing, seeing us. There are some people, when they come to church, ha, you'll be like, the heavens are coming down. But when you go home, even their children have given them names. Like, uh, they have given them names that this, this, they have been, maybe it's a parent, they have been given, hey, the devil has come, the devil has come. Your own children, your own children are calling you like that. You know, there are some people that we used to give names, even at school teachers, we used to give them names when they don't know they have names. Now imagine, your own children, they call you that name. You don't know it. But when you are church, elder, deacon, levant, what, people are moved, are moved with titles. But they are not moved with the relationship with God. People are not, are not, are not, they don't care about the relationship with God. All they care is the titles. When they are called evangelist, what? Decon what? Evangelist, uh, vet, decon vet. They are okay. But if they, they, they have no relationship with God, titles won't take us to heaven. This is the same way that even pastors, some pastors will go to hell. And some pastors, some, some, some pastors will go to heaven. And some of the people that will look as if they are satanists, those are the people maybe who even go to heaven. Maybe at that particular time, they'll make things right with God before they die. Or they are already in the right path with God. But the thing is that we try to look at them in a certain way because we think the way they are operating and our operation is different. You know what? God ways cannot be described. God's words cannot, we cannot say that, no, God is working like this. He will also work to, in my life like this. God works in different ways. The way he's working in your life is not the way he's going to work in my life. So if you see somebody using salt to pray for the sick, if God has allowed them to do that, let them use salt. If you, you don't use salt, it doesn't mean that the other one who's using salt is wicked. And that is if they're given instructed from God. And if you discover that maybe this person is not of God, it's not time for us to start publicizing. Eh, you know, that church is not God. Those people are, those, that pastor is what? That pastor is a prostitute. That pastor is not of God. Eh, maybe it is, sometimes it may not be that pastor who is not of God because of the jealous that is filled in, in, in your heart. That makes you, because they are doing what? They are doing what? What you are not doing. And sometimes these people have, I, I, I know of some people who, who would say that T.B. Joshua is a satanist. And you know what I said? I said, because you, you have not been able to understand how God operates. If the man of God, T.B. Joshua, has discovered, if the Bible says you even do greater things than I did, and he's operating, he's, he's working under that gift. He knows that God, Jesus said that you even do greater works, and he has discovered and is working, is doing greater works than Jesus did. And you, because you don't understand that scripture, you are limited, you are too religious, and like, okay, this case doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. And we start criticizing men of God, women of God, 
And I'm not saying everyone is of God. In fact, me, I, I even say it. Even me, when you see that you, when me, what I'm saying, or you are not, you are not connected to what I'm saying. The best thing that I can, I can tell you, don't, don't even bother yourself being here. I'm encouraging you. Even me, it's not every man of God, that every woman of God that I watch. Not that they are evil. No. Because I'm just not connected to them. Not that they are evil. There are some people that are connected to them. Me, me I'm not connected to them. So, me, I'm just telling you, when you're a child of God, don't look at people and say that this is a evil. And in fact, God, when Jesus came here, he did not say that, go and expose those who are not men of God and those who are men of God. He said, go and make disciples of many nations. What's the purpose? That's why I get surprised. What's the many reason why men of God and men of God are fighting over attendance? You know, me, I've told my God that God, if there will be two, because you have called me, I should be preaching the word of God. If there will be two that will be watching me, I'll be committed. Because with the same two people, God is going to say good and faithful servant. If somebody who's doing a live video like me, he's having 10,000 of people, I don't have to, uh, to fight them. And in fact, if God leads me to watch them, I'll watch them. I'll be one of their followers. I'll be one of your for us. I won't fight that because maybe me, I'm having, how many are we here right now? Four. I'll not, I won't be able to fight that. Not because other people are not, other people are, are, are these people are having a lot of viewers than me. That's the spirit of jealous, spiritual jealousy. That's why most of the times, most of the times, men of God are not even trusting one another. Because this one, when it comes to preach, they'll be like, no, you get my viewers, you get my viewers. What is yours will still remain. What is yours? God will protect it. What God, if God has assigned you with some souls, he will help you. They will still stick on you. It's not time to fight. There can be one soul. There can be three souls. Maybe I'm on this live video. Maybe there's just one soul that I'm speaking to. And I believe that it is you. And those people are going to watch later. Sometimes, me, I always say that, God, if I preach, I'm not going to just preach for people who are watching me right now. Which are, it's a blessing for people that are watching me. But even those, there are others who are at work right now. They have no time. And the time they'll be frustrated, discouraged, and everything. They'll come across this video. And they'll listen to it. And it will be used, as, to, it will be used to encourage them. So, child of God, these things of fighting, no, you want to spot out. Even men of God, when they go astray, they are human beings. Let us be able to understand they are human beings. They fall. And the Bible says a righteousness man may fall seven times, but they will still rise. The problem is when you still remain down. But if you're able to rise, God says, come back, my child. I know you are lost, but you have to come back. So there are some people who concentrate on other people because this sister had fallen down. These people, had, this sister fornicated with a man and she became pregnant. Maybe she just did it once. And she became pregnant. She doesn't even know how to uh, abort. And she kept the pregnancy. And here is another sister who has been fornicating, fornicating. In fact, this one has even become an expert in her abortion. But because her, the world is looking at her that she's okay, she's flat, she's not, she does, she's not pregnant. And they're like, she's the one who's doing it right. She's the one who's doing it right. Yes, she's the one who's doing it right. But here is a sister who just did it once. Who just did it once. And she became pregnant. And we start supporting her. No, you are a prostitute. You are a prostitute. Set your heart. Set your life and say that, Father, before I point out a hand on this person, am I okay? What is it? Ask God that, Father, even as before I point out my hand on this person, how is, how is me? How is me? Some, maybe it's pride. Pride. Pride is what is, is key. Others, when you see somebody ministering jealousy, because you find that, no, how can this person be ministering to these people? Grace differ. Anointing differ. God has given us different assignments. Different assignments. As I said at first, we are ambassadors of Christ. We come from the, we are of this world. We are, of, we, we are living on this world, but we are not of this world. We are ambassadors. God did not get you on this earth to just live and go, but he gave you this life. You make use of it by speaking the word of God. You make use of what God has given to you. As I said, everyone has got, an, has got, everyone has got a gift, a calling that God has put in his life. Be an ambassador in that gift. You are an ambassador of Christ. You may be, you know, there are some people who have been called prophets, prophets and everything, but one thing that you have to know, in the area of gifting, use it to an ambassador. Nobody can operate in your assignment, but God has given you that grace for that assignment in order for you to pull forth. So, child of God, 
Let us concentrate to what God has given us. Let me continue. You, the, on uh, chapter 5 where it says, Hypocrite, first get rid of a log in your own eye. Then you see well enough to deal with your friend's pack. So like, hi Susanna, how are you my sister? May God bless you. Thank you for watching. So we get, we, 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 we are so focused with people's one mistake, but not knowing us, we have a lot inside our hearts. So let's work on our, let's work on ourselves. Let's work on what, on our, on our, um, on our light, on our, on our logs than concentrating on one person's mistake. Amen. Let me continue. Do not waste Hayabashi Kata. Do not waste what is holy on people who are unholy. You know, when I, I read these scriptures, this part, I was like, you know, there are some people be like, God, I want healing. I want healing. They are focusing on healing. They don't want the healer. Hey! They want the healing. They don't want the healer. My God. Now listen. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. They will trample on the pearls, then return and attack you. Hey, this is the same scripture. Do not waste what is holy. What do not waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. They will they will trample on the pearls and turn and attack you. Ha. Meaning that some people will come to God. No, Father, I want you to bless me with money. You don't want the giver, but you want the product the product of the giver. Don't waste your time asking. The best thing, first seek for the giver and say that, Father, I know you are my giver. You have everything. And whatever I believe for, you help me. So there are sometimes us people, we just want to seek the producer, the things from the producer, from the, from the, the product. We don't want the producer, which is a wrong thing. We want, Father, we, are, we want to, you want to, for healing, but you don't want the healer. You want to, you, you want God to bless you with a husband. But you, you don't want God himself who will give you that husband. That's why even the enemy these days is also blessing people with uh, partners that are wicked. Because they, 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 their main intention is just to get the, the product. So the devil back, ah, so you're interested with the product. Let me give you. And you go and give you. So children of God, let's not, let's not come to God that Father want this. And we are not focusing our relationship with God. Our relationship with God matters so, so much. Hallelujah. Then and the scripture continues. Keep on asking and you will receive whatever you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open. Will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone that knocks the door opens. You parents, if you you parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. Of course not. That's what the Bible says. So if you, if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to the children, how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to those who ask him? Now God is asking here. Keep on asking. Whoever that keeps on asking will receive. So most of the times we debit ourselves, no, it's only it's only men of God, pastors, women of God, evangelists, uh, demon chasers, they're the ones who can ask and go to hear them. No, God is saying whoever that asks, he will give it to him. Some people want to bring other people to be mediators between us and God. God wants, you know, God wants us to wants us to go by ourselves. A relationship that you create with your God dialect is very important. It is important to create a direct relationship with God. Why? Because when you have a direct relationship with God, he starts, he starts, sorry, let me try to cross this door. I didn't know that it was open. A direct relationship with God is very important. It is very important. Because he even starts teaching you that your brothers don't know. He even starts teaching you in the area of your gifting. He starts telling you, my daughter, you have to operate in this way. But if every time you go to this person, no prayer for me, no prayer for me. It is, it, 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 there is no mediator right now. The only mediator that he talks, to, or talks on our behalf is Jesus. He's the only mediator that makes even intercession 
for us. He's the one when he comes to God and says, God, please, for the sake of my blood, for the sake of, for the sake of my, for the sake of me dying for these people, please, Father, save them. Please, Father, help them. Please, Father, you don't have to. Yes, we have to come together. We pray as brothers and sisters. Sometimes you need to, yes, people, men of God that are highly anointed. Anointed, anointing differs. Or anointing differ. Anointing differs. So, but even when anointing differs, with the, if you, with the level of your anointing, know you're an ambassador. And know that with the level of anointing, you can move mountain. With the level of the anointing and faith, you can move mountain. So don't limit yourself and say, it's only these people that can pray. It's only these people that God can listen to. It's only these people that God can listen. Everyone. God cannot bring you on this earth and make you to be a nonsense. It's a lie. God cannot bring you here on earth and cause you to end up being a useless person. It's a lie. If God has called you, if God has called you, he will surely keep you. If you are, the reason that you are alive today, that should give you, that should, is the main, the, the many point, the many things that you are alive today, that means that there's a purpose that you have to fulfill. And that purpose just has to be fulfilled by you. The time you are gone on earth, the chapter will be closed. There will be no any other person like you who's going to carry the assignment. But this time the assignment, we are not, even in the house of God, we are not concentrating on the assignment. We are concentrating on talking about your man of God, gossiping about that sister, what they did, who they slept with, who they what, who. This time going to church, most of the people they go to just go and find news. What is new? And when you ask them, what did you learn at church? No, I forgot. But you know what happened? Then you be like, but you know what happened? That, that sister, uh, that sister and that brother, they, they, they were found fornicating. What? Is that the main reason of going to church? No, do you know pastor, pastor called, and especially if your pastor is single. No, pastor called that, that, that lady to pray for, to pray for that lady. That pastor, I think he's going out with that other one. What do you think? The house of God now, it, it has turned into a house of, um, of um, mm, uh, 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 it, it, it's not, people are gossiping, people are lying, people are doing what. Every time you go in the house of God, you just want to find out what is happening, what's news. The man of God preaches messages that has go, are going to touch us, but all what you came about is a story about Sister, Sister John and Sister Mary, the time they, have been, they were fornicating. Hey! The sister Mary and sister John, maybe they did it, they fornicated two weeks ago, and that story has been heard right now. Maybe they have even made things right, but you still want to stick on what sister John and sister Mary did, what pastor did. Even men of God, they are human beings. The problem, we look at men of God in such a way, they are human beings, but people, it's like most of us people, we feel like men of God, they don't deserve to be forgiven. They deserve to be forgiven. They are also human beings. Child of God, the same, you are not going to stand with your man of God. Pray for them. Let us stand to pray for them. We are not going to stand with them on judgment. They have a case to answer. We have a case to answer. You're not going to say no because God, this one, you appointed this one to be a pastor, but look at what they are doing. Pray for them. We all error in different ways. All we need is coming back to God and ask for forgiveness. And ask for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says here, if us, if uh, parents, us who are parents, they, you, we know how to give good gifts to our children. We know how to give good gifts to our children. Are you telling me that? How about our Heavenly Father? Sometimes... Sometimes, uh, you know how, we may, how mothers behave. I'm not a mother yet. I'm not a father. I'm not a mother. But I just know how, how parents treat their children. They are like, hey, interested in their affair. Now imagine God is saying, he's reminding us, if we can get how the world treats, uh, treat, how treat, they treat their children, some parents, not all parents, but other parents, hey, other parents, they, are, they don't care about their children. Like us for me. Let me give a let me give a testimony. Me for me, my I was rejected when I was young. When I was a baby, me I knew my dad when I was already old, and even when I knew my dad when I was already old, he didn't care about me anyway. So uh, me, I've grown, I've grown in a, well, I've just grown with my mom, and I don't know how to feel like a father. So I just I just have a heavenly father, but I see some fathers how they treat their children or mothers how they treat their children even me my mother quite okay we didn't have enough but with uh, what she had there was that care so uh, there was that care so we find how mothers 
parents treat their children. Now God is asking, how about me? You think, how about me? Imagine the gift of God over your life. Imagine what gift God is going. And the good part of God is that not, does, not only does he give you that gift, but he also protects it. For, your, for example, your mom can buy you a dress, but you don't know, maybe somehow somebody steals it. But when God blesses you with a gift, he'll protect it on your behalf. Hey, when God blesses you with a gift, he'll keep it on your behalf. When God blesses you with that, he anoints you. He'll even make sure that he covers that anointing. Because if somebody steals that gift, it will, they'll be like, is it really God that caught them? Is it really God that gave them? But for him to maintain that God is God, he'll be like, I'll keep it. Yeah, I'll bless you. And not only am I going to bless you, but I'll protect it. That nobody will snatch it away from, from me. That's why the Bible says that the gift of God are irre uh, revocable. They cannot be taken away from you. So it means that the only thing, we don't work on them, but they are always there, but they are doomed. They are already there because you're not working on them, putting them into act. Uh, 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 you're not practicing them. You find that they'll be doomed, not that they are taken away, but they are doomed. So at the end of the day, you feel like you don't have it, but you have, you are loaded. You are loaded for the assignment of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Let me go to verse 13. The Bible says, you cannot enter God's kingdom only through a narrow gate. Oh, sorry. You can enter the kingdom. You can enter God's kingdom only through a narrow gate. The highway to hell is wide and its gate and its gate is wide for many who choose their ways. But the gate of life is very narrow and the, and is very narrow and the road is difficult. Only a few ever find it. Now the Bible here is telling us about the narrow gate and the broad gate and the broad the broad gate to heaven. Many, many, uh, say, uh, when you, wh wherever you are right now, ask yourself if Jesus has to come today or today you die. Because people are scared of death. But you know, the point where I've reached right now, I'm not scared of anything. And when you're not scared of anything, the devil knows. Because the highest fear that the devil puts in our hearts is the fear of death. But if you are unable to, you are not scared of death, there's nothing that the devil can scare you with. So, ask yourself today. If anything had to happen to me, if anything had to happen to me, the world comes to an end. Oh, I die. You don't know what your tomorrow is. You don't know why, why you end today as I'm talking right now. You don't know my one hour from now because I always have two videos that I do in the morning and in the, in the, in the afternoon. Uh, around, I, I come around... Um, on Mondays, because from Tuesday to Saturday I work, Sunday I go to church. Then on Mondays I'm free. I come to do the live videos every Mondays. Then you'll be like, um, uh, and uh, from, I come twice, so I'll, I'm remaining with another session. That was what I was instructed by God. And you are here, you ask yourself, you, maybe you'll be waiting for me. No, Yvette is coming to preach for the other session. <laughs> you find Yvette is not coming. Not knowing that Yvette has just died the moment she just ended this video. Ask yourself, because me, I'm talking about this because I'm not scared of death. If God sees my assignment is over on earth, it's okay. I'm okay. I'm ready to go. So ask yourself, are you, if anything had to happen to you today, you die today, you leave this world, whether we like it or not, and we have to leave this world. One time we have to move. Whether you are ready or not, one time we have to, we, we have to vacate. We have to vacate. Whether we are scared of death, we are not scared of death. One day we have to say bye. You are here. How is your relationship with God? Ask yourself, how is my relationship with God? Have I been fornicating? Have I been lying? Have I been gossiping? Have I been slandering? Am I a person who, 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 who gossip, who destroy other people's worms? What kind of a person am I? Set your heart. Ask yourself, do I have pride? Do I lie for people? Who am I? What do I do? Ask yourself inside your heart. You know yourself. You can come out and say, I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. I go to church. I pray. I do this. I do this. 
ask yourself, are you a tither? When it's time for worshiping, what do you consider? Sometimes when it's time for worshiping, you just want to see. You are observing how Pastor Who and Sister Who, they are not singing, how they are looking at each other. Even if when they are not looking at each other, because you have got that mind of like, no, the, these people. Ask yourself. Ask yourself, where Father have I erred you? I don't want to miss heaven. Heaven is real and earth is real uh, and hell is real. The decision is in your hand. Today, you will die today. What is your destination? You die today. Where are you going? You die today. What are you going to answer God? You die today. What impact have you made to the world? Making an impact to the world, it's not the whole world maybe coming to know you. If it when you make an impact to that one soul that God has given you, you are, you are a good and faithful servant. What will the world remember you of? We are not here to show off and say that, okay, I want... The world, what I mean by the world will remember you of? Even that person that you evangelize the word of God to. Do you know that that person you evangelize to, or the word of God to, he takes the word and keeps on taking it, taking it. The world, he's taking it from other generation, generation to generation. But you just evangelize to one person. You evangelize just to one person. That person is the world. Do you know what the Bible says? When you give, when, when one soul, just one soul goes, uh, gives its life to God. Ha! The heavens celebrate over one soul. Because people are not doing their assignment. People, people, because they are scared of what to do, what God has called them for. Many people are perishing. Many people are going to hell. I remember on Thursday, I was praying with this girl. And she was like, I, 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 I was praying with this girl. And she was saying that, and there's something that I mentioned to her. I'll say that. You know, there are some assignments that God has given us. I was telling her that, you know, there are some things that God has given you to pray for the people. You, you don't even are supposed maybe to go and stand. You, you pray for people and they come to know Jesus. You, you pray for somebody, they come to know God. That's the assignment God has given you. But at the end of the day, you're not working. You're not praying for them. And you know what she said? She was like, yes, God showed me that. I'm supposed, there's a time God showed her that you are supposed to pray for your brothers, your, your, your brother, your, your brother, your uncle's sons. And the uncle's son, one of them, like, because she did not pray, they died. And she started blaming herself. She was like, if only I prayed. And there was a time that she, something happened that the auntie was about to be involved in an accident. And it just came on her face, like, your auntie is about to get involved in an accident. And she said, I cover my aunt with the blood of Jesus. And the moment she just said that, that the auntie called her, that we we're about to get involved in the Lord accident. And she did not pray, and, and she prayed about it. And the auntie was not involved in the Lord accident. But she did not pray for the uncle's children, and the uncle's children were dead. Hi, woman of God, Serafinia. Welcome. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. Amen. May God bless you. And the uncle's son died. And I was telling her that, do you know how many people have died? I was telling her that, do you know how many people have died because you have not prayed for them? Do you know you, God has graced you to pray for the people. And when he puts them in your heart, you pray for them. If you don't pray for them, something happened. Now imagine how many people have died because of your disobedience. How are you? You look beautiful today. Thank you so much. The glory of the Lord. Thank you, man of God. So, I look like Jesus. <laughs> so, how many people have died out of your disobedience? How many people have died, have not come to listen to the word of God out of your disobedience? Ask yourself today. How many people have died right now because you did not obey? Hey. You think me, I want to come on Facebook and preach? I want to be resting. I, I, I always say, me, I work from my Saturday, Friday, uh, Tuesdays to Saturday. Sunday, I go to church. Monday, it's supposed to be my resting day. I want to be resting. But if I walk in disobedience, there's a soul that will end up dying without receiving Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior. Amen. That's right. May God help us to be obedient. Amen. Amen, woman of God. Indeed, God has to help us to be obedient. How many
many people have left this world? I died. Do you know that the, the same people that we have not prayed for, their blood is on our head. So I was telling this girl that, you know how many people have died because of your disobedience? God shows you to pray for them. You don't want to pray for them. You say there's something that causes me not to pray. People are going to hell because of you did not pray. Every time you walk in disobedience, there's a soul that is perishing. And God has entrusted that person that you have to pray for them. You have to intercede for them. You have to speak, to, to speak in their lives. But you have been able to keep quiet. And the devil is aware that the moment you pray for that person, that person will come to know Jesus. But you don't want to, talk, you don't want to work on your assignment. What are you living for on this earth? What is the reason of you living on this earth? Why don't you want to serve God? You think that life you have is your own? That life is not your own. God can take it away from you at any time, any day, any moment, when he wants, when he pleases you. But the time you will be taking it away, what impact have you made to the world? How many people have you spoken the word of God to? How many people have you brought to Christ? Or how many people have you destroyed? People have given up because of our attitudes. The people have stopped coming to church because of how we gossip, how we talked about them, slandered them. How many people? Are you a person that is bringing people to God or you are chasing people to God? But remember, everything that you do, God is watching. God is watching. I'm asking you. The way you are living your life, you may be here watching me right now. Or you preview me later. You preview me later. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, have you made things right with God? Technology has caused people to start feeling like, my friend died and my heart is bleeding. I'm not sure if she made it because she was on off. You see, somebody's worried for the friend here, Josephine, that the friend was on off. So I cannot say today, on Sunday I'm at church, Saturday I'll go and fornicate. On Monday, it's because Sunday morning I'll go to church. The moment you somebody is fornicating that same night on Saturday, preparing that Sunday they will repent, he dies. They die, they miss heaven. Heaven is real, hell is real. The decision is in your hand. You die today. Where are you going? Ask yourself, where am I going if I die today? What is my life without God? Where am I going? Without God, where what is my assignment? Child of God, I came to remind you today. If you are not giving your life to Jesus, we can talk about the love of God. We can talk about the goodness of God. We can talk about God's protection. We can talk about not gossiping others. We can talk about... But if your life is not right in the sight of God, you miss it. You can be listening to the word of God, speaking in tongues, being doing good, but goodness without you accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for your service, but... You miss it in heaven. So I came to remind you, child of God. Uh, are you born again? Have you invited Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? You die today. Are you sure that you are going to heaven? Today, the world collapses. The whole world collapses. Are you sure you are going to heaven? Where can we go without God? No, hell. There's no way we can go without God. Ask yourself. Ha, how have I lived my life? How have I lived my life? Is God proud of me? You know, I was happy on Thursday when I was praying. And God was talking to me that I'm proud of you. Your ways pleases me. And you know, I was telling God that I want to stop coming on Facebook. And me, I don't know if I'm getting, if I'm called for that. And he was like, your ways pleases me. And I, oh, okay. Your ways pleases you. Thank you, Father. I'll, I'll stick on. Okay, thank you. By the time you want me to stop, tell me I'll stop. So if God tells me to stop coming on Facebook, I have to stop. So for now, but I'm pleasing God. So is God proud with you? Is your ways pleasing God? Has God, if God is looking for people to bless you, is he trusting you that, okay, I trust on Safin, I trust on Nina, I trust on Josephine, I trust on Diana, I trust on Susanna. I try, you know, is are your ways Hayabashikata? Are your ways Elena? I always Ruth will ask 
ask yourself, are my ways pleasing God? If God is looking for somebody to send, is he trusting you? Hey, are your ways pleasing God? Do you know how, how up I was? I'm like, seriously, God? Because sometimes me, I'm full sometimes of drama, but I'll be like, God, are you really proud of me? 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 Josephine said, but I tried to lead her to Christ, only I don't know. On I don't know. On on day you were, you are on God. Another day, another day you are on on the world with the world friend and things. Amen. Are your ways pleasing God? Is God proud of you? Is God proud of you? Is God ask yourself, is God proud of you? With what you do, how you have lived your life, how you are living, how you are treating, how you are looking at the world, how you are surviving, is God proud of you, child of God? When God looks at you, is he proud of you? When God, look at, the time God, the devil was, appeared before God, he wanted to, he, he, God gave permission to Job. He knew that Job, no matter what you do to Job, Job won't forsake me. God, Job will not, will not curse me. And when the devil appears before God, is God going to say that, okay, Look, at, I trust Seraphine. I, tr I trust Josephine. Just go. I trust, I trust Josephine. Go and do whatever you want to do. I know she'll still stand firm. Does God have confidence in you? You are here. You have not given your life to Jesus today. You cannot gain the confidence of God unless you give yourself to you. Do you give yourself away to God? I want you, I want me, I want you to pray with me this prayer. Salvation prayer. Say, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and personal Savior. I've sinned against you and against this world. I didn't know any better. But today, I'm ready to change and follow your ways. Father, from now on, I'm born again. I'm saved. I'll not do what the world do, but I'll do what you want me to do. Help me walk in righteousness. And in holiness, because you are holy. In Jesus' name. Cancel my name, Lord, in the book of death. And rewrite my name in the book of life. I will save you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you for these souls, for, th for these people, your children that have given their lives to you. My father, even others that are going to preview this video later, may you alone, God, come through for them. Help them. I pray for fresh anointing, fresh fire. Father, let holiness, power, and grace open heaven. Father, always lead them, direct them to your glory and honor of your word. Father, they will not miss their assignment. What you have called them to be, they shall surely be. And any voice from the pit of hell that tries to stand against them, my Father, my God, I silence it by the blood of Jesus. May they walk in your ways. May they walk in your will. Father, may they start beginning to see my father my god supernatural open doors may you pour out your spirit upon them that they'll begin to prophesy let them walk in your assignment let them be the ambassadors of christ in jesus name father let their focus be on you and only you alone god even those who are backslidden and they are ready to come back in track with you my father help them Help them to stand before your holy throne. Help them, my Father, to always remember that you are King of kings. Even when they fall, help them to rise again. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray for holiness. I pray for righteousness. I pray for supernatural open doors. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You are here. You are here. Just know that this prayer that you have prayed is not a sure waste of time. It is a decision. Have faith. God has forgiven you. You have started a new chapter. Maintain your salvation. You Or you or watch me later. Maintain your salvation. You cannot say, Father, come into my heart like we have done. Be my Lord and personal Savior. This is just, an, this is, this is just there to help you know that your ways, are, God has taken over you. But for you to maintain the salvation, you have to pray. Seek the presence of God. Worship God. Study the word of God. 
Find a Bible-believing church, not every church, but a Bible-believing church. Pray that, Lord, lead me to this church where I worship you. Ask God to lead you. It's not every church that you have to go and that you have to enter. Create a personal relationship between you and God. God is interested in your personal relationship with him. You can lose your salvation if you are not working. You cannot say that today I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. From now when you go, you go and fornicate. It's a lie. Maintain your salvation. Maintain your salvation. Be in the presence of God. You can be walking, you are praying. You can, be, you can just be with your friend. You are praying in your heart. Always involve God. That's what it is. Otherwise, if you say, today I'm born again, tomorrow I'm going, to, I'm going to fornicate, you lose it. You go to hell. Maintain your salvation. Maintain your salvation. Your salvation matters. Maintain your salvation. Maintain your relationship with God. Born again, it is good to be born again. And it's very important, like we have done. But you may end up losing it if you are not careful. Your relationship with God matters. You know, some people we want to, it's more like, you know, being in a relationship with God. It's not, I'll give you a physical relationship. There are some people when you're in a relationship with this guy, with this man, wife and husband. If always your wife is like, I want, your husband is like, I want, your girlfriend is, I want, your boyfriend is, I want. You'll be like, you, you them, they, they're not giving. Then there is a problem. Yeah, when you sometimes you also have to give this is also what comes to God when we come to God we just want God bless me God lift me God touch me God God give me money what are you also giving to God give God your time you know why you know why Abraham was called the father of faith he was tested by giving his son Jesus Christ his son Isaac if if Mama, if if uh, Abraham did not give, did, was not tested by giving away his son Isaac for sacrifice, I don't know if you could have been called a father of faith. I don't know if you'd come, you'd be called a father of faith. Lata House, thank you so much. You're welcome. May God bless you. I know this is Pastor Alan Mungu all the way from Zambia. Thank you so much, Pastor. May God bless you. You're welcome. To, you, you, Abraham was called the father of faith because why? He was tested by giving Isaac away. And you ask want to say, God bless me with this. Even now our asking is very, we are selfishly asking for God to lift us selfishly for our own benefit. Do you know that every time God lifts you for the sake of somebody, every time God lifts you, he trusts you that you are going to take care of a certain person that is connecting you to but this time, people, we are selfishly asking God to bless us out of selfishness desire. And you're telling me God can, can help you. First, work on yourself. When God blesses you with money, you don't want to give tithe. Eh? You are praying, Father, I pray for financial breakthrough. God blesses you. You don't want to give. Okay. Time will come. Let me, get, let me tell you one story what happened. There's this guy. Which they, this guy, she was, he was asking God, uh, actually, we, we are back together from back home. He was, he's also in America. And when he came here, last week was telling me that Yvette, I've turned into a monster. Then I was like, what do you mean? You, who, who are in the youth together, you have turned into a, monist, a monster. That yes, I, this time I feel so hungry and I want to kill somebody. I was ready to... I talked to him and I was ready to pray for him to cast out that demon of monster in him so that he should come back in, in the track. I was ready. And you know, she was like, I can't give my, I can't really say that uh, you should pray for me because I have to be willing. I tried to teach the word of God. That's when you know that some people, they, they, no matter how much you preach to them, they'll never come. The, God himself has a way. It's good you have spoken. There are some people that are not assigned for us, but maybe... We have to speak in the, that way, but them, they, 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 they speak the word of God. Even when you speak the word of God, it's not everybody who's going to accept it. So then, then I was saying, and I'm ready to cast out that demon. So then, then, do you know what he told me? That um, 
I'm, you know, I'm not yet ready to, because I know who I am. I know how I'm operating. Then I was like, okay, it is well, I'm not God to change you. As long as I've preached the word of God to you and I was ready to cast that demon, since you still want to keep it, it's okay. Because the evidence has to, it's a personal decision. If you are ready to, you have to be ready to, you have to be ready. If you want to be delivered, you have to loosen yourself. But if you say that you want it, it's okay, keep it. So, as I was, and then there was a time she, he called me that, you know, my bank account, all my money has disappeared. I don't have any account. The same guy, Yvette, I don't know what's happening. Then I was like, you know what? I, I told him that the time you're back home, you're on fire for Jesus. You have come to America and you have lost the fire for Jesus. God has helped you come here and your life is changing. And you, in fact, you don't even go to church. You are working extra hard. Your money has, your, 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 your money now that you have saved, you wanted to buy it because you're saying, I wanted to start staying alone. I wanted to buy a vehicle. You want to buy a vehicle and your money has disappeared in the account. Then she was saying, he was saying that I want to, I went to ask the, the bank and they answered me something else. Then I was like, you know what? Are you a tither? You are not. So, imagine you have not been a tither. What are you going to tell God? Because when me, I'm a tither, something happened to my financial. I'll be like, God, I'm a tither. Are you not the same who said that you, de you destroy the devour, you rebuke the devourer for my sake when I tithe? But what is happening? Why has my money gotten lost? But, and, and you quote the Bible, you say that this is what you said. And you said that you're a man that should not lie. No, a son of man that should repent. And the word of God, it is you, Father. Because in the book of John 1, this one, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. So, meaning this way that you are leading, it is you, Father. You said it. And you are not a liar. And I'm a tither. I do everything. Committed tither. Every time. But why is my money, has my money, is my money, why has my money gone? Why has it disappeared from my account? You think God can leave you? He'll be like, yes, my daughter, I know what you're talking about. That's the truth. That's the truth. Let me make a way for you. So I was asking him, what, what proof are you going to come to God and say that God am a tithe? Are you going to say that God am a tithe? And you know, he was like, no, I can't even come to God because I know I've not been faithful to God. Then I was like, hey, hey. So it is important to tithe. It is important to give what belongs to God. Help others. You are, bl you are blessed to be a blessing. You are blessing to be you are blessed to be a blessing to others. Always share the little thing that God gives you. Sometimes we want people, no, you'll be blessed. I see vehicles actually in your garage. I see that big garage, that big house. You may, Amen. Yes, Pastor. I hey, yes. Uh, we have to check ourselves. Amen. Josephine, check yourselves. We have to check ourselves. Yes, the devil got the money. Yes, yes, woman of God, the devil got the money. So they got the money. So he has not even proof to come to God that God am a tither because he has not been tithing. Check yourself before you start saying, "No, I receive." We have to receive. You know, even me, I want money, right? Hey, I want money like no man's business. I really want money. I want money. Like, hey, money. I really want it. But let me tell you, at the end of the day. If that money is not is not how God wants you to get it, that money is nothing. It's not going to have impact in your life. Even when God blesses you, remember to tithe. Tithe, please, child of God. Tithe. Tithe can lead you not to go to heaven because you are a thief. The Bible says, thieves won't enter the kingdom of God. Adulterers, that is in the book of Corinthians, if I'm not forgotten, First Corinthians or second. Tithe, you don't tithe, you go to hell, you, you, you go to hell, you are a thief. In fact, not only a thief, a dangerous thief, before, because why? You are stealing for God. Hey, I want money too. We all want money. Yes, we want money, right? You, the danger of, of being a robber is because you are robbing God. And he's not robbing, you are not robbing God. Wallace is sleeping, he's watching Wallace, you are, you are robbing God. So if you can rob for God, who am I? If you... Then me, I'm at least, me, a fellow human being, we at least, if me, I rob for God, my friend, you at least with me. Because if I can rob for my God, I want more you, my fellow human being, then I will steal for you everything. So don't trust people, don't tithe, because you are a danger, you become, you, they become a danger to your life. So I came to encourage you, I love you, 
I love you. May God bless you. May God protect you. And may he cause his light to shine over your life. Maintain your, you maintain your, listen to men of God, women of God. There are so many people that you can listen to. And please listen to those that you are led by God. Not everyone. Others will deceive you. As I said, we all want money. We want the money for prosperity. Yes, you receive. Yes, you receive. Let me tell you, that prosperity won't come if you are not right before God. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So if you are seeking for prosperity, you don't want the prosper. The, you don't want the give of the same prosperity. It won't come. That's why you find people are still on one position. They are on one position. They are not moving because they are interested in the product. They are not interested in the producer. So at the end of the day, you still will be praying the same prayer. Sometimes how we pray matters. Father! Help me to prosper so that people may see that you are God. Yes, people will see that you are, we are God. And how, are God, how is God going to benefit from the money that he's going to give you? Are you going to be a person that God is going to trust with, which is going to trust you with that money to be a blessing to others, to be a blessing to ministries, to be a blessing to the orphans? That money, when God blesses you, not only that, so that people should see. Yes, they will see, but be a blessing too. Sometimes our prayers are being delayed to answer because of, we, we, we ask a miss. Our prayers miss it. We are, so, we are selfishly asking God. If you pray that, Father, bless me that I may be a blessing to somebody. You think as if God cannot solve it. My nose is... You think as if God cannot bless you. Father, lift me so that I can... Lift me so that... I can lift others. You'll be like, wow, this prayer has touched my heart. My daughter, you're going to lift others, right? And then, yes, Father, I'll do that. Let God be, let Hayaba Shekete. You know, when God blesses you, when He gives you the gift of healing, God is expecting you to go and start praying, laying hands on the sick. They'll be like, wow, I, then God will be like, I knew it, you're my girl, I knew it, you're my son, I know I knew, I knew it, boy, that you're going to pray for the sick and they'll recover, I knew, so I did not waste that gift by putting in you, he's proud of you, God is happy, he'll be like, wow, my daughter, my son, there goes my daughter, she has kept her promise and I'll give her more gift, yes, her, good girl, good girl, good, good girl. Good boy, good boy, that's my boy, that's my son. And God will boss. And the devil will be like, no, because you have you have blessed and what they're like, excuse me, devil, can you get out? My son, my daughter is doing my work. You people, yes, gifts are to be used. Gifts are to be used. And yes, I, you know, I want even to say something. Sometimes we pray that God, I pray for the gift of healing. This is what I was saying to the guys, to the people, to my friends, the one that you're doing prayer, prayer last night. Father, bless me that I, please, Father, I pray for the gift of healing. I'd go to back. Oh, you, I receive it. Receive the gift of healing. They'd be like, now I want you to go to the hospital and pray for the sick. Then, eh? Me? To go and do what? Ha! Huh? Father, me to go and pray for the sick. For what? Where? Who's going to? Then I, hey, are you not the one who's asking for the gift of healing now? What, what has happened with you? What, what has gone wrong with your head? Then you're like, oh. Father, I want to prophesy. I want to prophesy, Father. He gives you the gift of prophecy. He tells you, go and, go and prophesy that um, that person, he, that, that person, the, 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 you have to, then you'll be like, your husband, the husband is cheating on the wife, but use wisdom. I'm like, ah, Father, you know, I knew prophets, but the, not this kind of prophets. Please, this type of prophet. But are you not the one who was asking for the gift of prophets? I'm like, oh. So sometimes we ask things that we, we are not even ready to carry the assignment. So, child of God, even when you are asking, have the zeal that, Father, when you give me, I will do it and stand on it. And make sure whatever God tells you to do, go ahead and do it. We are ambassadors of Christ. Present God in your area of gifting. And you never go wrong. You never go wrong. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So this time we're about to end. Hi, Brother Dixon. May God bless you. You can just go through the video. I'm even ending the video right now. But before I go, I want us to sing before. This song, 
just poured in my heart just right now as I'm about to cry. If you know it, you can go ahead and sing with me. Our power flow, if you know it. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you for everybody that has been watching, those who have shared. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God protect you. Power flow. Let your power flow in this place. Let your healing come. Let your healing come. In this place. Hey. Sign and wonders. In this place. Wait, wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Amen. Hey. Child of God. Just go ahead and meditate upon the word of God. Let the power of the Lord flow in this place. You don't have to have the title to have power. You just need your relationship with God. Amen. Healing come in this place. I call you for signs and wonders in this place. Presence show in this place. Oh, yeah. I know. I see ha! Just like a day when power passed by sea You know where my dancing step is moving Hey! Ada Jesus Now gathering That's right You know, when you're dancing for God Let me try to dance even today You know me, I like dancing Let me put my phone down Oh, your ma You know, such, such kind of songs we know how we dance them. Let me show you. Are you about to see me? Hey! 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 This Deliverance when I 
I'm, I'm casting out a demon. I'll be, because he hates me and I hate him too, I'll be like, come out! Come out in Jesus' name! Out! But today, this time, it's about some of us even cast out. come and test our God. They don't know that being in the house of God, we enjoy. So, this is how I do for my God. Actually, this is nothing. You know, Amen wants me to show you how I do it for my God, not to this step, another step. If you want me to, to show you, type yes, if you are ready. Because me, I've ended this video. I just wanted us to dance. But if you want to if you want to see another move that I do for my God, this was salsa. Huh. Like, is it? What? What? I, I turn back to type. If you want me to dance the last song, this one you'll be surprised. Hey, who wants? Who's ready? Who's ready? Because me, I'm about to leave. I go and do my own things, dance for my God behind you. But if you want me to show you another move for my God, type I want. If you are not, if you you are ready. Haya va sheke va da 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 da. No, we are singing times da 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 va da 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 da. It is well. God is faithful, my dear. Oh, it's like people are tired. You don't want me to dance. It is well. I'll dance next time. Dance competition. <laughs> That's in competition. <laughs> I mean, I want. It's only just we know once here. So just when you're you're alone, you're alone. So I'm about to leave. Well, do you want? I I show you another move with the move that I do for my God. God is faithful. If our old father, we can do those things to God, to to the old fathers like. We, 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 we come before the, our old fathers, we talk to them. How about our God? So these people, they should come and try our God. It's not boring in the house of God. Ha. So, let me show you this other move. Amen wants, to, Amen wants me to show the, the, the last move for God. The one that I do. Every time we pray. Amen, amen. Say yes, yes. Or, 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 or say I want, I want, I want. But if not, I'm about to leave. May God bless you. May God protect you. Let me pray. If there are some people that are, are sick right now, 
before I go, let me pray for healing. Believe God has healed you. Have faith in God in the name of Jesus. Let me pray. Father, I pray for healing, Lord, for that person that is not feeling well. My Father, my God, I pray for that person, that child of yours that is not feeling well. Even those who are going to preview this video. My Father, may you heal them, oh God. May you protect them. Father, I cast out that spirit of sickness. I come against that spirit of discouragement. I come against that spirit of giving up. I come against that voice from the pit of hell. I scatter it and come against it in the name of Jesus. I declare that every evil spirit, monitoring spirit, my father over their lives, I come against that demon of, uh, of frustration. I cast it out of their lives. Father, every, assign, every assignment the devil has put to destroy your children, I come against it right now. In the name of Jesus, thank you for everybody that has been watching and listening to the word of God. Father, may you protect them. May you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Every evil voice that has been spoken over these children of yours, we shut them by the blood of Jesus. I silence them and my father I silence them permanent in Jesus name I pray that every witch my father that is looking forward to destroy their lives my father my God we pray for repentance and failure to repent we command them to die if they refuse to repent and come to you my father command them to die to fall down and die father we stand on the book of exodus 22 this 18 where the bible says suffer not for a witch to live any witch that has vowed to see us going down my father if they do not repent they are going down they will not touch any family member they will not touch our children they will not touch our houses they will not touch anything that concerns us we rebuke and destroy every foul spirit Every spirit from the pit of hell that has been accusing us, oh God, my father, in order for us not to see open heaven, we silence him, we silence them, we silence them in the name of Jesus. My father, my God, who has ever that has dug a pit in order for, the, for us to go down, it is them that are going down. Every arrow that has been sent to destroy us, never, my father, we send that arrow back to their sender in Jesus' name. Father, we are healed by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says by your stripes you are healed. Therefore, no sickness shall take control of our bodies. We are marked for great purpose, for great reason. We are marked, oh God, for great destiny. And nothing, no powers of darkness can do anything about it. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we love you. This is the reason that we come to you celebrating about your goodness and your love. Father, you are too good. And we are not ashamed of you. We will sing to your glory. We will dance to your glory. We will pray to your glory. We will worship you to your glory. Nothing else but your glory, Lord. In Jesus' name. Father, may our voices, my Father, be, may our voices be heard for your glory. Not only as an individual, but may you speak in us. In Jesus' name. We will stand as ambassadors. We will not be ashamed ashamed of your word. In Jesus name we pray. The Lord will thanks in our heart. Amen. Thank you Jesus. I'm about to dance. <laughs> I'm about to dance now. Back to the scene. Okay, let me, before I leave, hi Angela, my sister, how are you? Thank you for watching. May God bless you. No, okay, this one, I want to go back because it's like people are motivated. They want to hear. Let me, this one, it's a, it's, a, it's a dance on another level. The song talks like, every time I pray in your name, in your name, because it's fast, so I don't want you to say that, no, Yvette has gone back into the world. No, no. Hey, Kabash. Every time we pray in your name.
When you pray, dancing and God knows because if King David danced for the Lord who are we not to dance for God hey, I'm sweating if King David danced for the Lord who are we not to dance for the Lord dance you're not dancing for anyone King David danced for the Lord a king even you child of God dance for God hey you know people in pubs in crabs they dance for the devil they go down for the devil well how about you hey that's why the devil hates me because me I do everything to the fullest. My God, 
I'm even sweating. Oh, Jesus. I just wanted to dance with you people. Anointing for dancing. <laughs> I want to dance with you people. We have danced for God. We have jumped for God. We have prayed. We have spoken. We have heard the word of God. And we have worshipped God. This is what the, uh, Christianity is all about. So people will tell you, no, Christianity is boring. Tell them, not my God. Your own God, but mine. If we worship the same God, then you know what I'm talking about. So, children, look at I'm even, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm also breathing for God. Sweat for <laughs> Nina, leave me alone. Sweat for Jesus. I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating. I'll go and take a shower because I, I took a shower by, before coming in. I'll go back again. <laughs> it, it is well. <coughs> it is well. It is, <coughs> it is well. Yeah. See you next. See you for the other session. In the name of Jesus, how oh, God is fair. God is good. God is sweet. God is too nice. Hallelujah. God is too good. My God, Hayabashikata. In Jesus' name, God bless you, people. I love you. You know that I love you. You know that I love you. And God bless you. Bye bye. God bless you, Tunina. God bless you, Susanna. Angela, God bless you. Who else? Desi, God bless you. Thank you for joining. For joining late. I that Jesus, God bless you. Thank you so much. Who else? Who else? I'm trying to scroll down. Just feel God bless you. Will God bless you? <laughs> you people, you're funny. What do you say? I don't mean, <laughs> I'm trying to scroll down. Hiya. Ooh. Imagine my network has freeze. Ah. Uh, oh. Will, don't make me laugh. Sweat that. Uh, sweat that supernatural sweat for Jesus. <laughs> you people are funny. Yes, that's the supernatural sweat. Jesus, and thank you, Sister Safi. May God bless you. I love you, people. See you in the next time. Next, the next session for today. I always come on Mondays because these are the days I work. So Monday is my day and the time I can talk to God. We can preach, enjoy together, dance together. Hope you are dancing. You are not watching me. Dance your own dance. Don't look at my own dance. This is my own dance. So next time I'll show. Next time I'll show you how the we dance from like how we dance for God back home from back home how we do it for God and I'll I'll, I'll show you how we dance for God didn't you see how I was moving those shoulders like every dance you you know um, uh, 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 it's very easy to divert for God sister Desi God bless you so people bye thank you so much may God bless you I love you Jesus does it more Jesus does it more Jesus does does it more and see you for the other session bye take care